Joe Varden. Go ahead, Joe. Sorry, but oh. Marcus, I'm here now. Sorry. That's all right. You good. Hey, man. Uh, good to see you. Um, now that you've been there a couple of days and, and there's been a couple of players um, way early on that, that broke quarantine rules um, and people have been laughing about, you know, the idea of a, a snitch line or whatever. But, but what do you think it really will be that will keep players like motivated to adhere to the rules and, and try to, to get this thing finished? Um, to be honest, I don't know. You know, um, I know for me, it's not a problem. Um, I'm, I'm cool with it. Um, but, you know, we got, we got guys that, that, you know, probably don't, don't think that this is, you know, the right thing to do. So um, I, don't, I don't know the, the, the right idea. I don't think nobody does. And, you know, this is why, you know, it takes everybody, you know, to, to, to get this done. So, um, you know, and, and us being here, this is our first time ever doing this. So. You know, we, we knew coming into it, it was going to be new. We knew coming into it that, you know, uh, things weren't going to go as perfectly as planned. I don't think it was that many guys that was breaking the rules or trying to break the rules or accidentally broke the rules. Um, like I said, I don't think it was that many guys or I don't even know to, to the extent of who it was and, and, and stuff like that. So, but we all knew coming into it was going to be, uh, you know, a challenge and it was, it was all new to everybody. So we're all trying our best. John Corrales. Hey, Marcus, um, I know you were asymptomatic when you tested positive for COVID, but have you noticed any side effects at all while you've been working out? Have you noticed anything that may be slowing you down more than in the past? Uh, me personally, no. Um, you know, I thank God for that. You know, um, everything is, 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 everything is copacetic with me. Um, you know, my, my breathing is fine. My heart is fine. Um, you know, it just feels good to be back out here. I think, you know, I'm back to, to myself, if, if not even getting back to, to being where I was before the season uh, stopped and things like that. So for me personally, nothing's wrong. Everything is as, as normal as it's going to get. Jared Weiss. Margaret, have they been able to do any sort of like testing to compare your, you know, like your oxygen intake and things like that to your baseline levels from testing during the season? Uh, yeah, I think we, we every morning we have to fill out a, a you know a wellness check that includes your temperature and your your oxygen level. So, I mean they're they're taking on the right you know drastic measures measures. Sorry, I don't know why I said drastic, but measures to to try to you know to get a better reading and understanding of what's going on and and to kind of detect uh, you know problems before it becomes problems and things like that. So, um, you know they're doing everything in their in their ability and we're doing everything in ours to to try to get this working. And, and keep it going. Scott Davis. Hi, Marcus. I was just curious uh, what you've been doing with your off time during the bubble. I've heard from other players that, you know, their, their kind of key is to stay busy during the off time. I wonder if you agree with that sentiment, try to stay outside the hotel room or, or what you've enjoyed doing so far. I've been mixing it up. You know, I've been, I've been hanging with outside with, with some of my teammates, you know, uh, in the players' lounge a little bit here and there. Uh, but most, mostly for me, you know, I've just been resting. You know, we uh, for us we don't have eight eight months to to, to three three months to get ready or whatever to get ready for the season. You know, we we got a couple weeks, so you know, um, and rest is very important. So I've just been really taking the time to, to get my rest and just really you know take the time to work on myself and reflect on myself. You know, and just becoming more comfortable with being you know uh, uncomfortable and being by myself and really you know working on my mental state and things like that. So for me. Uh, I've just been kind of mixing it up, and, and like I said, for other guys, it might work keeping them busy. Um, but you know, you just got to find whatever works for you. Abby Chin. Hi, Marcus. Um, you talk about that ramp up. How have things been going in practice, and and how much more difficult is it just the way that this hiatus was that you guys couldn't really work out and couldn't get up and down a basketball court? Oh, it's crazy, you know. Uh, Guys are coming back out of shape, uh, winded, um, you know, a little rusty um, when we first started, but, you know, uh, we're back. You know, everybody's getting into the rhythm. Everybody's catching a win. And, uh, you know, that's that's the beauty of, it. <clears throat> you know, uh, as being, you know, high caliber athletes, you know, it only takes a few few days, 
week or two to really get back into the shape of things um, for us. So, you know, uh, I know everybody from my team here at the Celtics are we're back in the rhythm, we're back on it, and we're ready to go. Amanda Bigrad? Uh, Brad Stevens said that, um, you know, with Kemba's knee, most of the responsibility, if he isn't able to play, you would be the primary ball handler. I'm just curious what your approach is to, to really spearheading the Celtics offense. You know, my approach is what has been my whole career, even more than ever this year, is just, you know, to go out there and, and, and control the game. You know, I got the ball in my hands and, and it starts with me and I got to make sure that I bring energy from the start to finish and those guys will follow. All right, and last question for Marcus. Let's go, Bob Sharon. Hey, kid, how you doing? How you guys? Hi, Marcus. Um, you know, I, I, I had, <clears throat> excuse me. I had asked Brad this. Uh, you come, you come back after three months, and it's sort of like starting the season over again, but it isn't. I mean, you guys hit the ground running with a tough regular season schedule. Is it what? Is it a challenge, focus wise, to get back into it? I mean, you're. You're ready to go for the playoffs and compete for a title. It's funny how they work. You know, we come back running off the gate with the schedule that we got, uh, but it's only going to help us. You know, playing playing the schedule that we got coming back early is just going to get us ready. We're going to get a feel. Uh, those that first game is going to feel like a playoff game for us. So we got to be ready and, uh, and you know, really get going. We don't have time to, to, to ease into things. And, and that's kind of been our motto is, you know, once we step on that floor, we come into work and we got to get it going right off the rip. We ain't got time to lally guy, ease into it and, and kind of go through the motions. So um, I know we've been taking it to, we've been taking it uh, wholeheartedly into the head that we, you know, we coming out. And when we're in between those lines, we're playing. It don't matter. We're going for blood, and we're trying to go out there and kick each other's ass. Excuse my French. All right. Thank you, Marcus.